A brief piece of news from Chinese media regarding a smile that has been lost for 7,300 years. The mysterious piece of pottery shaped as a female head sends a smile from 7,300 years ago as its host museum in East China starts a global naming bid for the ancient relic. Ji Young, curator of the Hanhui Bangbu Museum in the city of Bangbu, said the statue was among 600 pieces of pottery unearthed from a new Stone Age site at Shangdun Village in Anhui in 1985. Using carbon-14 technology, the relics were dated back to 7,300 years ago. However, it is still unknown what the statue was used for and why it was the only one of its kind, with the rest being utensils bearing inscriptions of various symbols believed to be origins of Chinese characters. The statue, made with earth containing mica powder and quartz, is a flickering tattooed female face with marks emblazoned on her forehead that archaeologists have judged as a sun symbol, measuring 6.5 centimeters in height and width. The relic is the earliest example of pottery ever found in China. Zhang Dong, professor with the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, said international archaeologist experts tended to link the inscriptions on the pottery items from Shangdong to drawings of the Olmec civilization and hieroglyphic inscriptions in Mayan culture. He suggested naming the statue the goddess of the Huhahi River since the ruins were found on the banks of the Huhahi which is located in the midway of China's two largest rivers. Shangdong culture appears in the same period as the late Neolithic group known as the Yangshu, which originated from the middle reaches of the Yellow River and Mangjibang culture, where archaeologists excavated 6,000-year-old rice grains in the lower reaches of the Yangtze in present-day Shanghai. In the museum, the statue's caption says, pottery human head portrait with facial tattoos. She almost doesn't even look human, though you can see there is a tiara type head item on her like a crown. Wang Jihui, a researcher with the Academy, said although a consensus had not been reached, those involved with Xing Dong archaeological research tend to believe that the civilization was a matriarchy with a sorceress dominating the community. The portrait might be the image of a sorceress. There are four handled kettles and cooking devices unearthed in ruins where massive animal bones were also discovered. The discovery of Shangdong culture suggests that the Huhaihe River Basin was one of the origins of Chinese civilization and Chinese characters. Since the museum launched the bid to name the smiling portrait through media outlets and Chinese social media in September, it has received considerable feedback. The portrait just has a head and the decoration on the forehead suggests she was someone high ranking. Maybe we should name her Big Cheese. What do you guys think that she should be called? We will leave the appropriate links below so you can check this out for yourself. Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.